sylvis come back and do your uh, type of isomerism that is your structural isomerism after this we'll be doing stereo isomerism understand carefully because basically isomerism questions are quite common in the chapter how do they give in the exam either they give you an example and you are supposed to identify the type of isomerism or they'll ask you directly if they're very kind enough they'll ask you what is hydrate isomerism state with an example so either way i'll try to teach you all done so <clears throat> whenever we speak about structural isomerism right so what do we say what are isomers which have uh, the same molecular formula but different arrangement of the structures it's called isomer they're called isomers and only and the phenomenon is called isomerism so here when i speak about ionization isomerism so simple whenever you are speaking about ionization just just remember one thing now i said you have your okay let us take an example first then i will write the definition now i have a complex done i have a complex in this this is this complex is called the coordination sphere isn't it and the ion which is outside is called ionization sphere or the counter ion now let us write one example basic common example your cobalt co your nh3 you have ammonia this ammonia 5 ligands 5 and here i have bromine okay 5 plus 1 6 along with this i have an i have one more ion in the ionization sphere let us speak about sulfate now let's write the ionization isomer for this now if then if there is an exchange of ions from the ionization sphere to the coordination sphere and the coordination sphere ion will come out it means there's mutual exchange of ions and that such type of isomerism is called ionization isomerism how how do i just write this take cobalt co nh3 taken five times your so4 is in and your br is out these two are called isomers done simple now let us write ionization isomerism definition right it's explained or how is it uh, defined it's defined as exchange of or you can write ionization isomerism arises this is better i believe ionization isomerism arises arises or it's sh uh, shown arises when there is exchange of <clears throat> there is exchange of ions between which one and which one between the coordination sphere coordination sphere as well as and ionization sphere that's it simple i'm just called uh, just showing it between two let us take one more example suppose if i have one more example to remember simple <coughs> same thing you you take the same thing here let us take one more ion you learn remember two examples and go that's more than enough because hardly they'll ask you for one mark so take cobalt take ammonia take five times here br is the same and here i'm going to take c2o4 oxalate now what should i do this is in the coordination sphere this is in the ionization sphere now try to exchange this ion here try to exchange this ion here what do you get you get co cobalt ammonia is there nh3 your 5 c2o4 has entered into the coordination sphere and your bromine is out that's it so this is one more example so both are common it's easy for you to remember so in the exam how do they give they'll give you this and they'll ask you okay like uh, they will ask you to write this complex and they'll ask you to write dry, draw write the ionization isomer of this so you just exchange it right simple nothing to name nothing is there just exchange the ions that hydrate isomerism if i have to write the definition now let us first take an example and then write the definition when i take the example in hydrate isomerism most important one of the ligand is compulsory water molecule then only you can identify that as hydrate isomerism remember so i said water hydrate is nothing but water just see take one complex chromium complex okay that here i said water molecule compulsory it should be because we are speaking about that isomerism and <coughs> here uh, if i have to take like according to this this is five along with water molecule you also have chlorine and this is okay let us not first write chlorine in okay i'll explain you gradually cl3 like this okay now this is your hydrate isomerism this hydrate isomerism if i have to speak okay exactly if i write six let us write for six so six water molecules together form a ligand and this particular one the complex is purple okay six and three now suppose if i have to write the isomer of this hydrate isomerism observe carefully 
<coughs> this CR remains there only. Out of 6, 5 remain inside. 1 CL from here enters into the coordination sphere to compensate. So, how many CLs out of 3? 1 has gone inside. This will become CL2. Water 6 out of 6, 5 are in. 1 comes out as H2O. This is one type of isomerism. Let's count 5 plus 1, 6, 1 plus 2, 3. So, total done. The same thing, it can also exist in different type of isomer. Now, observe carefully. Here, how many did I take? I took one water molecule out. Here, let us take two water molecules out. So, this becomes four. So, that two water molecules, write it here. Two H2O. This Cl2, already there is one Cl here. Right? Now, I am going to send one more Cl into this. So, this becomes Cl2 and the Cl which is out becomes Cl. Now, let's count. 4 plus 2, 6, done. 2 plus 1, 3, done. So, this, uh, these two are called having the same molecular formula but different in arrangement of structures. These two are hydrate isomerisms. What should I write? I mean, what is the importance? This isomer and this isomer, they will have a different color. The physical property and chemical property both would be different. Physical and chemical property, they will be different. If they ask you what is the importance of hydrate isomerism, you can write that. Now, how should I define? Hydrate isomerism is defined as or it uh, arises just like that. When there is exchange of water molecules or there is change in number of water molecules. Let us write that. It arises when there is change in water molecule right so between the coordination sphere and the ionization sphere change in water molecule where is it attached attached to metal atom so, where is the exchange going on? As I said just now, between coordination sphere and ionization sphere. Every time it will be balanced. So, this is your ionization isomerism and this is your coordination isomerism. They let them give the example. If they give the example, C that is hydrate and uh, identify. Next, try to shift. How many ever? You can further shift also. Like uh, just C, two, one goes in, one comes in, one goes in, one comes, one comes out. So, this is your isomerism. Let's come back and do the next type of uh, isomerism.